I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just looking for Lakshmana. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. Okay, so she's unnecessarily intense, and I'm Rondi Wooten. This is my review of Ubisoft's Far Cry 4. Now, I played Far Cry 4 on the PlayStation 4, but it's also available on the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. Far Cry 4 puts you in the role of Ajay Gale, or AJ Gale, depending on who you ask. Ajay sets off to the Himalayan country of Kirat. He's charged with the task of fulfilling his deceased mother's final wish to have her ashes scattered at the temple of Lakshmana. Try saying that 12 times fast. It's ridiculous. At any rate, because this is a video game, it turns out that there's a civil war going on, and that your father just so happened to be the founder of a group of freedom fighters who call themselves the Golden Path. The story of Far Cry 4 is actually quite great, and this is particularly impressive considering the fact that the franchise doesn't even need a narrative to carry it. Far Cry 4 is nothing short of a playground. The game offers up an insanely huge area to explore and interact with, complete with a multitude of side quests, collectibles, and enemy types, and cool stuff like this helicoptery, fly, bicycle, fly helicopter thing. I don't even know what to make of it, but it's pretty fun. You've got snowmobiles, you've got quads, you've got your, your cars and trucks, some big supply cargo trucks. There's so many different things, just about as many vehicles as there are enemy types. And the most notable of these side objectives I mentioned are the bell tower liberations. These portions of the game mostly consist of some tricky traversal, but completion of your objective expands your map, revealing new points of interest and unlocking even more missions for you to enjoy. You climb up the bell tower, these are similar to the radio towers in Far Cry 3. You climb up the tower, maybe you kill a few dudes, maybe you just do some jumps and some climbs, and then you get a panoramic view, like you see right here, because I record my reviews in real time like a champion. Uh, and it's going to unlock points of interest where you can maybe pick up some new side quests, maybe it's a new weapons vendor, maybe you get a safe house, maybe it's a cave that's got some loot in it. You never really know. You're expanding more of the world. And while it is already an open world game and you can already access these places, it just makes them more easily identifiable. And you can see that the map is clouded in certain portions. You're going to be able to clear all that up and see what's actually out there. There's a whole bunch of skills that you can unlock. Um, Using these towers is going to give you a lot of experience points, just like doing quests are. And you can get the tiger, which is mostly offensive stuff, and the elephant, which are passive buffs like more body armor or uh, more health bars, so you have more max health. Anyway, back to the script, like a professional. Um, if you have any aversion to free roaming and typically feel overwhelmed, don't sweat it. Far Cry 4's plethora of content is nearly entirely optional. It's there for you to enjoy as you please, but the campaign missions, cutscenes, and action-packed set pieces will keep you engaged throughout, even if you're only interested in completing the critical path. You can choose to just go from story mission to story mission to story mission, or you can screw around, do like the first two story missions, and then be like, this is Grand Theft Auto Jungle Edition, I'm going to do whatever I want, Tommy Versetti. Uh, speaking of path, though, you've got the Golden Path, and the story pretty much plays out like this. So we liberate our people, then what? It's not our way, it never was. You do this, you're no better than Pagan. It's morally bankrupt. Better than being literally bankrupt. Yeah, they whine like babies, and then you have choice. You choose to either side with what the dude wants to do, his name is like Sabal or Sahan, not important, or you choose to do what the girl wants you to do, her name is Amita, I believe. You see, these characters whose names I don't remember, they're well written, they're pretty cool, graphics are great, it's PlayStation 4, I expect it. But it seems kind of cheap. Well, at first, this mechanic seems to add some emotional depth to the characters and lend a welcome amount of gravity and personal investment within the story. Far Cry 4 tends to lean on this mechanic beyond the point of enrichment. When you boil it all down, you're just choosing who you'd rather piss off before promptly ignoring them to spend hours and hours in the jungle having way too much fun to care about silly things like uprisings and feelings. With all of that said, however, it's simply the choice element that seems ham-fisted into the game. The narrative itself, what's actually present there, is quite remarkable. The characters are well written. Everything is very well done. It's difficult for me to find a solid gripe, qualm, or quibble within Far Cry 4, but if I had to nitpick, I'm looking at the crafting. Yes, crafting, I'm looking at you. Heads up. 
I do not like the idea of having to spend an hour or two going out of my way to find particular antelopes, lions, sharks, what have you, just to get the proper materials to craft a bag that allows me to hold more than 250,000 Far Cry bucks, just to be able to hold a reasonable amount of ammo within my weapons, and just to be able to carry more than one friggin' gun at a time. That's just bonkers. Let me carry as many guns as I want. Let me carry a million Far Cry bucks. Let me do what I want. Your game is very, very fun. Allow me to experience that without interruption. Now I understand that they do this to pad time, but man, it's a free world. It's a free roaming game. I'm gonna play it forever. With that said, though, all in all. Far Cry 4 is an amazing game that you'll spend a lot of time playing. If you like free roaming, this is this is probably going to be a nomination of Game of the Year. Pagan Man is the main antagonist. I'm glossing over him because I don't want to spoil him for you, but I've left a clip at the end. Go buy Far Cry 4 if you have a PS4 or Xbox One. Buy it in general if you like video games. Pagan Man. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> Dude, he's just so cool! Anyway, I've been Ronnie Wooden with the State of Gaming. Thank you very much for checking out the Far Cry 4 review. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Take care, everybody.